The recent launch of SpaceX's Starship has shaken the foundations of the space industry and caught the attention of NASA and other players in the industry. Despite the failure to complete the full flight test, SpaceX declared it a success, showcasing the incredible power of the Super Heavy booster and the company's ability to innovate and execute complex projects rapidly. The gigantic rocket successfully blasted off on the 20th of April from Starbase, the private SpaceX spaceport in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX founder Musk had warned ahead of the launch that technical issues were likely and sought to play down expectations for the inaugural test flight. It's a very risky flight. It's the first launch of a very complicated, gigantic rocket, Musk said. And he added, there's a million ways this rocket could fail. However, after the test, the SpaceX chief hailed the launch, tweeting, Congrats SpaceX team on an exciting test launch of Starship. We learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson congratulated SpaceX and highlighted the risks involved in such endeavors. He wrote on Twitter, Every great achievement throughout history has demanded some level of calculated risk, because with great risk comes great reward. Looking forward to all that SpaceX learns, to the next flight test and beyond. SpaceX's rapid development and innovation with the Starship launch raised questions about the role of private companies in space exploration. The company founded by Musk leveraged private funding and resources to take calculated risks, a dynamic that may signal a shift in the future of space exploration, with private companies driving innovation in the industry. The Starship represents a major departure from traditional space exploration methods, contrasting with NASA's conservative and slower approach. Despite the rocket's explosion, the event still marked a historic moment as the largest and most powerful rocket ever to fly. Thousands of spectators gathered to witness the awe-inspiring display of the 394-foot-tall rocket's 33 engines firing simultaneously. The colossal roar and vibrations from the launch created a memorable experience for everyone present. No one appeared disappointed, not even SpaceX, which celebrated the achievement of the rocket lifting off and clearing the launch pad. The company acknowledged this milestone on Twitter, stating, Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first integrated flight test of Starship. In another tweet, SpaceX emphasized the importance of learning from setbacks, saying, With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multi-planetary. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell also echoed Musk's sentiment in a press statement, acknowledging the challenges that come with developing groundbreaking space technologies. She said, At SpaceX, we constantly push the envelope and take calculated risks to advance the future of space exploration. The general sentiment from SpaceX and its followers remained optimistic despite the rocket's explosion. The cheers from the crowds gathered on beaches east of Brownsville responded to a promise from Musk. He predicted two weeks earlier on Twitter, saying, Excitement guaranteed. It is anticipated that the next Starship launch attempt will occur in a few months. Although an exact date has not yet been announced, it is clear that SpaceX and its team have learned a lot from this setback. One of the primary concerns for the upcoming test flight is the proper ignition of all 33 Raptor engines, which will be crucial for the rocket's successful liftoff. During the 20th of April launch test, as the countdown approached zero, at least three of the booster's 33 Raptor 2 engines failed to ignite. There are speculations that the Raptor engines may have failed during the previous test due to debris during ignition. If this is the case, the problem could potentially be fixed relatively easily. The team is also assessing the damages caused to the launch pad and surrounding infrastructure to ensure that the necessary repairs are made before the next attempt. These assessments include inspecting the launch and catch tower and evaluating the damage to the nearby tank farm. The damages to the orbital launch mount and tower may require a few months for repair. In the meantime, SpaceX engineers will analyze data from the recent tests to make improvements to the next Starship prototype. The American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics also commended SpaceX's progress with Starship. The executive director, Dan Dumbacher, issued a statement applauding the company for its continued efforts in advancing space travel. He wrote, With Starship, SpaceX is boldly pushing the industry forward, bringing us closer to a future where humans live and work beyond Earth.
SpaceX's Starship has already been selected by NASA for its forthcoming Artemis III mission, which aims to return astronauts to the moon by 2025 at the earliest. The stainless steel vehicle is also slated to transport human crews to and from the lunar surface for Artemis IV, and potentially Artemis V, as per NASA's current plans. Musk also envisions the Starship as a critical component in building a city on Mars. The rocket's reusable design and the use of liquid methane and oxygen as fuel make it more environmentally friendly and cost-effective than its predecessors. Additionally, the stainless steel construction, chosen for its low price and durability, reflects SpaceX's innovative approach to design and engineering. The Starship's Super Heavy booster is not only powerful, but also significantly larger than NASA's SLS. This enormous size, combined with twice the thrust capability, means that the Starship has the potential to carry immense cargo and numerous astronauts into deep space. If the Starship works as planned, it could greatly lower the cost of going to space. This would let more people and groups take part in space travel, leading to new adventures like space vacations and living on other planets. Also, if the Starship does well, it would show that SpaceX is a top player in the space business. This could bring in more money and competition, which would be good for everyone in the long run. If you found this video informative, please do not forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.